Good morning. One a day is Monday, March 23rd, 2020. This is your bear market update. Now, today I wanted to do a video update and talk about overbought and oversold markets. Now, before we do that, if you want to keep up with these updates, go to my website, take a look at the menu at the top, and just click on bear market updates. I usually get these out about a half an hour before the open. I thought, given the nature of the situation, it's important for me to get in front of it and come out every day and give you a little bit of an update. Now, obviously, the S&P 500, big blue arrow, continues to point lower there. We did make a new low last Wednesday. What's concerning is that we did make a closing low on Friday. I would pay attention to, yes, these major lows, these pivot lows like we did on Wednesday, but also pay attention to your closing lows. And sometimes that can be really telling. Now, the question is, we're so oversold is the market of value here. Well, in theory, it'd be great if you could just sell it overbought and buy at oversold. And the market looks something like this. It's overbought, so you sell it. It's oversold, so you buy it. It's overbought, so you sell it. Rinse and repeat. Unfortunately, as Yogi Berra once said, in theory, theory and practice are the same. In practice, they are not. What happens is a lot of times the market does not adhere to that nice little sine wave and overbought becomes way overbought and oversold becomes way oversold as we are seeing now. So oversold can always become even more oversold. And as I often joke, it's always darkest right before it gets more dark. So I would encourage you not to try to catch that falling knife. Now, futures had a big reversal over the last few minutes, right as I'm getting ready to record this. I still wouldn't get that excited and I still wouldn't try to catch that falling knife. As a trend follower, you're going to be a little bit late to the game and you're also going to overstay your welcome when the market is doing really well. So what I would encourage you to do is give you something kind of quantitative that you can keep an eye on. So I would wait for at least an hourly bow tie. Now the bow tie moving averages are a 10 simple, a 20 exponential, and a 30 exponential. And what I'm looking for with this pattern is for the moving averages to come together and spread out in the opposite direction. So uptrend proper order means that the 10 is greater than the 20 and the 20 is greater than 30. And downtrend proper order means that the 10 is less than the 20 and less than the 30. Now, if we take a look at it, you can see a 30 here is above the 20 and the 20 is above the 10. So this market so far is in downtrend properly order and this is on an hourly chart. Now, if you look back here, they did try to cross back to the upside, but the 20 was still less than the 30 EMA. So we did not have uptrend proper order then. So if you zoom that in a little bit, you can see right here, the 30 here is still below the 20. Even though they were trying to come together, they failed miserably and all three turned back down and went into downtrend proper order. So don't try to catch a falling knife, even though there's some excitement there. If we have a big gap lower, maybe look to play an opening gap reversal if you or more uh, the trader type, but that's an intraday trade. I would urge you to wait for at least an hourly bow tie before looking to buy the overall market. And again, for more updates, go to DaveLander.com. Thank you so much, and may the trend be with you.